Okay then YouTubers, this is uh, just a quick uh, physics video for the afternoon, just a bit of Christmas fun really. Um, I'm looking at the idea of uh, fluorescence, or you might see it as bioluminescence, um, you think about glowworms. Um, I've got some beads here, like little beads, they're just these plasticky sort of bits. Come from AliExpress over in Shenzhen, and all I've actually done is I've got them under a UV light, but at the moment the light's not on. So let's see what happens when I turn it on. Whoa. Now we've got the light on. And you can see, they're kind of like actually being charged up. If I turn it off again, they're actually a lot brighter, aren't they? There you go. So you've got all these lovely beads. They're really bright, aren't they? You can obviously see my hand, my watch. Hold on. So if I take it off, you can see it a lot better. My watch has also uh, got fluorescent material on the hands. It doesn't naturally do it like radium did in the olden days, but you can see under the ultraviolet, it's really charging it up really well. I've got some paint, so face paint as well. A test tube. So this test tube, I painted inside of it with fluorescent paint. And I've got some spooky spiders. So the sort of thing people have at Halloween. A little white stuff here. This is just plastic, like a bit of a, a special material, but it's ju it just comes out white, doesn't it? Brilliant white. And I've got some special luminous paper. So I just dosed it up on the, on the tube. If I go up a little bit, look, you can see that's my UV lamp. If I look down, let's go back to our close up. So a bit of paper, and I can cover it over. It will go dark eventually. So. <clears throat> question is how does it work why does it work it's really just to do with energy levels now I can use I've got a red light here this is kind of like the photoelectric effect when you beam a red light on something that um, shows fluorescence like this it really doesn't do a lot okay it makes no difference now I could turn this off we can mess about forever and I can show you but literally the photons each one equals HF they don't have enough energy okay and I could also go with green light, which you can't really see there, but this is another green laser pen. And then the idea is, if I go with my purple source, which actually has a little bit of UV, you should be able to see, can you see there how I have excited it? So compared to before, like here you can see there's a line, isn't there, that ends up going on it. Let's have a little look, a little bit of a closer. See where the pen's been, you can see the line. Like we're tracing a line, can't you? Okay, but if I try one of the colours, let's try the red one. The red one, okay, I move it around, doesn't really do anything at all. Okay, and you can do it as well um, with the purple. <clears throat> let's go for the purple. So it is under UV light now, but I can also put the laser pen inside, and you can see as I go across the end of it you will get some excitation. So in reality, the key thing you need to know for, as an A-level um, idea is about energy levels. So it absorbs at a certain frequency and then it emits at another frequency. And it might give out two photons of different energies, but those photons are lower energy or lower equals HF, which is why they are visible, which is why now I can see and I'm creating visible from UV. And if I unplug again, everything's switched off. There's still a really good glow there, isn't there? So look at that really exciting glow. I mean, it's really good, isn't it? Compared to these little ones, these Halloween ones, my little beads, they were only, I think it cost me eight pounds for a set of all those. They glow brilliantly and are really reusable. So there you go. This is a bit of physics fun for an afternoon. So catch you later.